Hello, good morning all. So today we are going to be learning about the first program in our file structures lab. The title or the question of the program is as follows. Write a program to read series of names, one per line from the standard input and write these names spelled in reverse order to the standard output using IO redirection and bytes. We are going to repeat the same exercise using the input file specified by the user instead of standard input and using an output file specified by the user instead of standard output. So what is the meaning of this question is we are going to read the names from the user. Please understand is one per line. So in one line after entering a name you are supposed to enter uh, uh, press the enter button go to the next line to give the next uh, name from standard input which means the keyboard then we are going to reverse these names and display the reverse names on the standard in output. The, this uh, procedure is going to be done using input output redirection and pipes. We have studied the concept of input output redirection and pipes in our file structure syllabus. So we are going to repeat the same exercise uh, using the input as a file, whichever the file is going to be specified by the user and the output is also going to be shown in a file as well as in the standard output. So you can see the program for the uh, below above uh, question. These are all the header files that are to be included. The first one is input output stream dot h. This is for input output functions. Con io dot h. Con io stands for console input output. F stream dot h. This is very important. It is the header file. All the file related operations. This is string.h for string related operations and this is to include all the standard libraries. We are starting by creating a class. The class is called as student. This class student is having only one data member that is name which is of which is an array of characters the size of the array is 10. This class is having two reference variables that is uh, record 1 and record 2. Both are having the size of 10. Now this is a global variable of integer type the name of the variable is n let us start with our main function that is the place where your program begins the execution so coming to your main function as you can see in the main function the first function what they have called is reads so the reads function the functionality of this uh, uh, procedure is to read the names from the user whatever the user is going to enter this function is going to read those names so you can see we have declared a local variable name. It's an array of characters. The size of the array is 10. Enter the number of students. We are going to ask the user to enter the total number of students. Enter the students' names. So if there are five students, we are going to loop it for five times and get all the students' name. Store it inside record one of i dot name. So we saw that this was a reference variable for the class. The class had one data member that was name. So we are going to store all the names here. For example, if there are three names, record one of zero dot name, record one of one dot name. So we are going to store all the names in this reference variable. Once that we have stored all the names, we are going to reverse the names and print the names on the standard output. So for reversing the names, we already have a, a standard library function. There is a string function that is string reverse. So we have used that function to reverse the names. We are going to loop of loop uh, do these operations inside a loop because there might be five names. We are going to repeat all these operations inside a for loop five for five times. So string copy before uh, reversing. I'm going to copy the original name that is present in of record one of zero dot name into a local variable called as name. That is a local variable we have declared here. Next, I'm going to reverse the name that is present inside this local variable name. So string reverse of name. Once it is being reversed, I'm going to copy it into another reference variable that is record two of i dot name. Now the reversed name is stored inside the variable called as record two of i dot name, which I'm going to output onto the screen. So if you can see this reads function is reading your names from the user, reversing the names and printing the output on the 
screen. So our first objective is satisfied. What was the first objective? Reading the names from the user, reversing the names and printing it on the screen. Our second objective was to read the names from the user but from a file. We are not going to read the names from the user. We are going to read the input from the file. So we will see what is the function for that. Now as you can see the second we have completed the reads function. So once the reads function is over the controller will be transferred to the next function that is write. So now we will see what the write function will do. This is the functionality of this write procedure is the whatever the reversed names that you have printed previously using reads function this write function will write those reverse name into a file please understand the write function is going to write the reversed names produced by the reads function into a file so the uh, main uh, requirement of write function is the user has to enter the name of the file where those reversed names have to be stored so you can see here the f string file this is a file pointer character f name this is a local variable see out enter the file name so we are going to ask the user to enter a name of the file inside which i'm going to store my reverse name produced by the reads function so in order to write our data into the file we need to first open the file the function for opening the file is file dot open file is the file descriptor that you have created here Next inside this f name, f name is going to contain the name of the file the user is going to user has entered. IOS that is input output stream. I'm going to open the file in the output mode because I'm going to write some data into the file. We have to open it and see inside the output mode. If you are going to read the data from the file, open it inside the input mode. In it should be written. Now if there is any uh, interruption that is ha happening when you are opening the file then if not file so if the file is being opened successfully this file will contain a integer value that is a file descriptor if it is not open properly it will not contain any value so if not file that means the file is not being opened properly we have to print could not open the file but an exit one so come out of the program if the file is opened successfully we are going to write it in write all those reverse names into the file so in the previous reads function, if you can see, the reversed names were stored inside the variable record2 of i. So you can see here, in a for loop, I am writing into the file all the variables, present, all the names present inside your record2 of i dot name. I'm going to loop it in the for loop. So if there are three names or four names, it is going to be repeated that many number of times. So all the names are going to be written into your file. Using the file descriptor, I'm writing all the variables into the file. So this writes function, what is the functionality of write procedure? It is going to write the names, the reversed names produced by the reads function into a file, which is specified by the user. Now, once your write function is over, the next function will be stored underscore names. What is the stored underscore names? Our uh, second question was, we are going to read the input from the file and display the reversed names onto the output as well as into the file. So in the stored names, whatever is the names you have stored inside this, uh, using this write function, whatever names you have stored inside the file, we are going to read those names, reverse those names and print it back again. Please understand that is why it is called a stored names. The names are already stored inside a file using the write function. We are going to read the same names again and then reverse it and print it on the screen as well as into a file. So if you can understand in the stored names, we required two files. We required two files. So I have created f stream f1 f stream f2 i require two file names one why do i require two file names once i have read whatever is present inside a file produced by the write function i have to reverse it and print it on the screen as well as write it into a file right so i need two files so i have created two file descriptors now we are having two uh, file names and one local variable called as name i need two file names so i am having f name one f name two and I'm having a local variable called as name. Now enter the file from where you want to read. So what is the name of the file you have to enter? 
whatever is the name you would have given in the right function this name whatever is the name you would have given the right function the same name has to be given here also so enter the file from where you want to read give the same name whatever you would have given in the rights function because that is the place where from where we have to read now what will be present inside that reads function inside the inside this uh, file the reverse names will be present inside this file now let i am opening the file that is f1.open file name ios in the input mode i am opening it in the input mode because i want to uh, read from that file and i want to write the reverse names also into that file now if not if not f1 that means if the file is not open properly then it is going to uh, give a statement could not open the file if it is open properly it will come to the statement enter the file in which you want to store so we know the file from where we should read now the file where we want to store the reversed names we have to enter so i'm entering the file name now if you can see here this file i'm opening in the output mode why am i opening in the output mode now wherever you want to store you are going to write it so that's why i'm opening it into the output mode input mode means if you want to read output mode means if you want to write so i will open this file while not end of the file i'm going to get file f1 dot get line please understand f1 what is f1 this is f1 right f1 is opened in the input mode so i can only read the names you can't write it into f1 so f1 dot get line get line is a function to read the individual lines to read single lines at a time i'm going to write the name the number of characters and the uh, end of line uh, new line character now once you have got the name i'm going to pass the name to the string reverse function which is going to reverse the string once the string is reversed the two things what you should do is you should write the name reversed name on the screen as well as write the reverse name into the file please notice f2 here what is f2 it is a file descriptor you have created for the second file which is opened in the output mode output mode means you are able to write it into that file so using this file descriptor f2 i have written it into this file i have read the names from f1 i have reversed it using string reverse function and i have written the output on the screen and i have redirected please see this redirection this is called as a redirection symbol we have redirected the name into the file once that is done you are going to close both the file descriptors f1 dot close f2 dot close if you would have noticed in the question they told you to use io redirection and pipes this is called as input output redirection i am going to redirect the names into the file this is input output redirection now once that is done you are closing both the descriptors f1 dot close and f2 dot close so after that you are going to come out of the program you are going to exit out of the program now i will show you the execution of this program now this is a c++ program so you are going to, i am executing it in dev c++ i have typed the program here and i have stored it using the name of the program and dot cpp is the extension so we will see the execution of the program i have compiled it okay now i can execute it so the first question is asking is enter the number of students so let us say i am having 3 the number of students is 3 now it is asking enter the student name so let us enter the names of the student So I have entered the names of three students. So can you see here the reversed names? This is our first the answer for the first question. Uh, getting the names from the user one per line, reversing the names and printing them in the reversed order. Next is this is done by the reads procedure. Next, it is asking enter the file name. So this is prompted by your write procedure. It is asking the file name into which this reversed names has to be stored. So I am going to uh give a file name let me say ft ft is the name of the file okay now it is not displayed anything because it is just open the file 
inside this file the reverse name of this reverse names is being stored now enter this is asked by this is with the work of your writes procedure now enter the file from where you want to read this is being prompted by your stored procedure stored names procedure wherein you have to give the same file because this is the file where your reverse names is stored give the same name ft enter the file in which you want to store now give another file wherever you want to store let's say fe you can give any name it is not at being created it will be created whenever you are giving the name of the file itself enter the file name in which you want to store fe now when i pressed enter can you see that the reverse of this names is being printed what is the reverse of these names it is printed here as well as if you can open this file and see fe the same names will be written even in the file fe also so now i can show even that i am going to open the um, file where your uh, file will be present we are going to open that file and see the contents of that file the name of our text file was fe so you can see here fe you can even open the other files and see that was ft what is present inside ft the reverse names is being present the reverse of these names is present inside your file called as fe so hence we have achieved our objective what was our objective uh reversing the names and printing it on the screen and reversing the names and displaying the output on the screen as well as on the as well as you are going to write the output on to the file so hence the objective of the first program is achieved thank you all